Hello and welcome to the Miracle Minded Podcast. This is Nicole Sylvester and I am so glad you're here, like always. Today, there are so many topics that have been swirling around that I want to bring to the show. And for those of you that listen in and have reached out to me or shared your feedback of like what your experience has been with the show, I want to thank you because, you know, this is this is something that I do when I'm called to do, when I'm inspired to do it. And it's like any other, I view it like any other social media, just like I could post on Instagram. I can create these more intimate. It feels intimate. It feels like a fireside chat. It feels like I'm sending you a voice memo. That's what it feels like to me most of the time. And that's how I use this podcast. But I absolutely love to hear from you. So if you have not yet left your review down below, take a moment to do so. It means the world to me. And for those of you that have emailed me or maybe just shared your experience of the show and let me know how it has impacted you, thank you. Because it actually inspires me to come here and share more with you. So let me know if you haven't already. Just leave that review below. Tell me what you love about the show. And if you have topics that you want me to touch on, if you have something that you want me to speak on, feel free to email me. If it's aligned, then it could be the next show topic. So I want to just thank you for being a part of the community and just know that I feel you and I'm grateful for you and I'm glad we get to share this time together. So this episode is really going to speak to you if you are someone that has clients in a service-based situation like maybe you're a coach maybe you're a consultant you know maybe you're a doctor maybe you're a real real estate agent Um, also if you've ever been the client on that side of that I have a feeling this is going to speak to you and it may just open your heart open your mind to a new way of relating with other people and I'm going to make this fast because I'm sitting in my car and it's hot outside (laughs) and I have the AC off for quality factors here Um, there is AC out in the condo I'm staying at it started going off like yesterday someone came out to fix it they weren't able to fix it so today someone else is coming to hopefully truly fix it so there's like looking for a quiet place to do this and of course I have to do it when I'm inspired that's when it's going to be the best juice for you so here's my word for today and I know that this may be controversial it is safe to love your clients And this is something that I have just truly come home to in the last, let's say, two years. Now, I started off my business and my work in this knowing because I started my business from a space of love. My business was a spiritual calling. It was something that I wanted to do. I wanted people to feel less suffering. I wanted the people to feel seen. I wanted people to feel loved. I wanted people to feel everything that I wanted to feel because I was like, we all deserve it. And as the years progressed, and as I began to work with more people and reach more people and do things like live events and retreats on top of all of the different virtual programs and things like that, and then my book was out in the world, there were situations where I felt like, well, that sucked or that hurt or that was disappointed. And I was tempted to close my heart, put up walls and be like super boundaried. There were even times where I was like, I don't want to lead anything where people have access to me. I know that's funny, (laughs) but this is the depths that we will go to, to try to protect ourselves from being hurt by people. But now I realize that those situations that hurt or sucked or made me, you know, tempted to close off, they actually came to develop my character, to help me to cultivate boundaries for myself. And boundaries are not meant to be indestructible walls boundaries are meant to be you know a space to create a safe container there's some flexibility in that at least for me so and that flexibility has to feel good you know so there's a lot to that and this is not a conversation on boundaries that's a whole other conversation but what I want to talk about when it comes to loving your clients is as the years went on just for reference my business is going to be nine years in like four or five months so i've been doing this thing right and it's taken many different shapes and forms but like i was saying as time progressed i 
was hiring different mentors. I was learning different skills. You know, I was putting myself into more, you know, spiritual spaces and doing the deepening of my own work. And then also putting myself in business spaces to, you know, gain better insights on boundaries and scaling and, you know, just being in that energy of all different things. And what I recognized and what I took on was this belief that actually you got to keep your clients at a distance. And look, there's no right or wrong to that. I think it's just a way of doing business. So I definitely started to take on that belief because it also felt safer. So I noticed that some of the women that I was hiring and that were having, you know, successful businesses, they kept people at day like it was like you're over there I'm over here and they were still some of them were very impactful for me their teachings what they um, created in terms of their containers and the events were transformational like no doubt they were great so in that I was like yeah I guess this is the way that we have to scale this is the way that we have to do things if we want to be successful we me myself and I and that began to really shake up for me two years ago because I was simultaneously invested in two high level investment programs simultaneously. And one container was totally virtual. It was more of a business lifestyle focus. The other one was a spirituality, energetic leadership program. And both of them were, were people that running them were multimillionaires. Um, both of them had people in the group that were making many millions of dollars. There's a reason I'm pointing this out. Okay. So just bear with me. So in both of the groups, there was a very different relationship of the leader, teacher, facilitator, whatever you want to call it to the client, student, participant, collective very different energy and again it's not right or wrong it just comes down to values it comes down to what feels good it comes down to how you want to run your business and what feels true for you and for me it really comes down to like what is the impact I want to make in the world how do I want to make people feel while simultaneously being fully aware that I am not responsible for how people feel And that's a distinction that we could all benefit from having. That's a whole other conversation as well. (laughs) But my intention matters. How I show up matters. What I lead with matters. How I want to meet my people matters. So in this spiritual leadership program where we were doing this work, there were people that are very well known even. You know, there's people that are um, known in the public eye, like celebrity types. And then the one teacher works on a lot of people in that realm from, you know, a prince to celebrities to people just like me, (laughs) right? So there's a wide spectrum. Now I'm sharing that for a reason too, because what I want to point out is that in that group, no matter status, no matter financial um, status, no matter how your status is in the public eye, no matter who you know, no matter what circles you run in, there was this love and care and presence that was just really beautiful to receive and to experience and to witness. And it really taught me a lot about leadership. It really led me to reflect on who do I want to be? How do I want to serve and what is important to me, right? So one of the things that I really gleaned from that experience in that year, because it was a very transformational year for me because my value system began to change, how I viewed myself began to change and really so much started to like upheaval for me and then also unravel. (laughs) And in that there was this incredible opportunity for me to meet myself even more deeply. And one of the greatest lessons I learned is that it's safe to love your clients. That's something I came to. And when it's safe to love my clients, I started to dissolve any of those structures that felt like I got to keep people away to be safe. Now, here's what I want you to know, because some of you might be listening and you're like, yeah, but we have to have boundaries. 
of course. But here's what you have to understand is that love is not totally get lost and abandon yourself. Love is not whatever you need. I'm here and forget about me. Love is not I'm just going to people please and pour into you until I'm depleted or your needs only matter. That's an unhealthy love that some of you, some of us may have learned. But love is boundaried. Love is clear and it is kind, which are two of the biggest values inside of my um, business. We got to be clear and we got to be kind. And when we're leading with love, love is fierce and yet love can be flexible and love can be soft. But love is the container that says we can transform in this space. It's safe. I see you and I hold space for you and you matter to me. And highest and best is important here. Highest and best for all. And that highest and best for all piece is so freaking important. Love knows how to say no. Love knows how to say yes. Love knows how to look for other solutions and work together. Love can see another perspective even if it doesn't match a, a totally aligned with your preference or ideal. Our love is an advanced technology. <laughs> it's a spiritual technology. It is a big deal. But the biggest thing is we have to begin to really heal some of the and unlearn I should say unlearn and heal some of the unhealthy concepts of love that we might hold or it may be not healthy to meet your clients in love because that might be something that means something else than what I'm talking about so I want you to catch that as well I also have found that it takes more of an energy expenditure meaning that it's even more effort and whether you are aware of it or not because I've become aware of it in the like looking back and feeling into the energy now that it takes more energy and effort to put up armor. And some of you, some of us, some of the these people on this planet were so freaking armored. We're trying to protect ourselves. But what I've learned is that when you are secure in yourself and you are anchored in yourself and you are clear on you, that you don't need the armor. Sure, there's going to be times where you're tempted to armor up, but we don't have to walk around like that. And I think that's the, there's power in just your beingness. And when you're willing and able and you have the capacity to just be yourself and to meet people in love and trust your instincts and trust your intuition and trust that you'll know the best next step to take, that in that there's less of an energy usage and you have more energy for creation. You have more energy for the things that you want to create in life. You have more energy to focus in a place that feels good. You have, your body has more energy for healing and wholeness. So these things are they're bigger than just I want to let my clients like feel my love or not. This is a mutually beneficial thing and we have to have the capacity for it. You have to have the capacity for it and you have to have the, the knowingness for you because the container is first developed within you. So this really boils down to a leadership conversation. It's a conversation about love. It's about a conversation about understanding your own relationship to what it is to express and experience and hold the container of love. And I mean, this is really important work. But I wanted to share this with you because there's so many different ways to lead. There's so many different ways to show up. And one way or another way is going to be more authentic to you and to who your soul came to be in this lifetime, in this work. And look, just because I decide like I want to love my clients doesn't mean I'm answering every single DM. It doesn't mean I'm answering any, you know, any question that comes into my e inbox. No, if you know me, I'm, I'm great at saying no. I also understand that I am not responsible for other people's feelings. <laughs> so I have really a gr great relationship with all of that in me. I'm still working on it every single day, but I know that I have to love myself first. So all of this is a practice and process. And if you are someone that wants to work on this and you're someone that wants to cultivate and develop this level of capacity in your own life and begin to unpack your own values in leadership and begin to meet yourself more deeply and also meet others in a way that allows true intimacy that feels really beautiful and wonderful and you know it's really a way of working with spirit it's really a way of working with spirit instead of just meeting at the mind and all of these protective states if this calls to you i want to invite you to explore 
some of the private coaching opportunities I have right now because I have several available. This is the thing I'm focusing on this summer. For me, it's that intimacy, the connection, and the transformation that happens in one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's different than anything else. It's really been highlighted for me too recently because I have two of my three current private clients. They have worked with me in, in like long-term things, right? Um, one of them, I should say, has worked with me inside of my miracle realm, meaning for one year she had access to everything that we did. And she has been a part of Money Miracles before that. She's done like almost all of my series, my collective. Like she has worked and done everything with me for about two years. And then she decides to do this one on one with me. And inside the one on one, we have, of course, the Zoom sessions, which I feel like are for the breakthroughs, the deepenings. And, you know, there's this consistent conversation and vulnerability and access that happens in there. When I say access, not to me, access into a deeper parts of you as I am a, a really clear mirror and guide and we really pick up on the subtleties and begin to create these breakthroughs but the Voxer and everyone uses Voxer differently but I would say the best way to use Voxer is to show up vulnerably and be open and available to catch the refinement like Voxer is a space of incredible refinement in the past, when I had Voxer available every single day, which was Monday through Friday, and that's why my coaching packages were a different price back then, because I was available for Voxer Monday through Friday. Now I'm not. I only do Voxer on Mondays and I really like it. It feels really good to me in the season. But in those Voxers, we are unpacking the subtleties. There's little clues, cues, hints, signals, and signs. And that's where I help you pick up on this greater awareness. But anyway, what I was saying is this client that had worked with me with two years, she'd been in all these things. She comes into this and she's like, I have been sleeping on this one-on-one. -on -one. I've been sleeping on this Voxer. Like, this is wild. Like, so she's had so many beautiful breakthroughs and just unhooking herself from unhealthy attachments and choosing herself expanding her awareness in these really beautiful things and having beautiful manifestations and synchronicities because of it so i say all that to say that private coaching is its own experience whether you've experienced it in the past with me or you have been in a bunch of group things or you've done digital courses just know that this is a completely new time space and dimension that we get to play in now so I want to invite you in to explore whether it's a three month journey, a six month journey. We can look at the different options, but I want to invite you in because this is something that I'm very passionate about is moving through the spiritual transformation, the fundamental foundational basis of you and starting to unlearn, unhook and allow the good to just show up through you, for you, as you now. The other thing is that we create the conditions for all that's meant to be for you. It's not a forcing, it's not an over efforting. We're creating the conditions, but in order to create the conditions, you have to become aware of what is not creating the conditions. And that's where it's really beneficial to have someone that is doing the work someone that is able to hold space for you and to be a mirror for you. We go places that therapy can't go. We go places that traditional coaching doesn't go. It's deeper. It's more holistic. It's more expansive and it will change you forever if you're open and available to it. So reach out, send me a DM or send me an email. Email is always safe because I feel like the email doesn't get lost anywhere where the DM sometimes they get lost in these like hidden files or something and I find them a year and a half later so send me something and I would love to chat with you more and discuss the opportunity of what it would look like to walk through the end of 2024 together I look forward to hearing from you and if you haven't already and if you're interested we have the Bali retreat coming up January 25th through 30th of the new year you can jump into that pay in full get on a payment plan um, there's only five spaces left and if going to Italy is more your speed and you want to be a part of that, the Sicily retreat is still open and there are five spaces available for that retreat. So my friends, the options are here. I want to invite you to step into a greater dimension of yourself to meet yourself in a way that unhooks you 
from the limitations that are not who you ever were to begin with. And I am here to walk with you and to love you through that process and to hold you to even a more clearer version of love that knows that you get to fully love and meet yourself first and foremost. And from that, only from there can true love be present. All right, my friends, thank you for being a part of this community. I want to send you a big wave of love from right here to wherever you are. And just know that you are important, you are valuable, and that you matter more than you could possibly ever understand. May you know that today. May you walk in that knowing. And may you create from that essence. Until next time, stay miracle-minded.